The next issue to consider for the sole proprietorship is uh, potential liability for the commercial activity you're carrying on. Well, as previously discussed, the sole proprietorship, um, the commercial activity is one with, it's not separate from the business owner. So with that in mind, uh, the owner of the commercial activity, the sole proprietorship, is potentially liable for any contract actions or damages or tort actions or damages uh, committed by the business activity. This becomes extremely important when you have employees of the sole proprietorship. Without employees, the sole proprietor, him or herself, already is going to potentially be liable for the commercial activity that they're carrying on for the uh, product or service that they're putting out into um, the community or population. But when you have employees that are carrying on uh, activities on behalf of the sole proprietorship, their torts within the course of their business performance could also subject um, not just the commercial activity uh, to potential liability, but the individual. Uh, the owner, the sole proprietor to personal liability. This could put all the, uh, the owner's personal assets at risk, their personal bank accounts, their home, their automobile, etc., uh, for any, uh, like I said, uh, damages that arise from uh, torturous or contract uh, acti activity um, that, that is on behalf or in furtherance of the business or commercial activity. So there's something really important to keep in mind and it is probably uh, the largest disadvantage to carrying on business as a sole proprietorship.